I was work. Horrible, Peg. I fell off a ladder and well, I Well, that's my... nice. <laughs> so I want you in a good mood. Honey, I bought a new dress. How do you like it? Well, I don't know, Peg. I'd have to see it without you in it. <laughs> what do you need a new dress for, anyway? There's nobody inside the TV looking at you. <laughs> well, I bought it so I'd be ready. See? My horoscope says, buy a new dress. You're about to embark on a new and unique undertaking. Isn't that great? Well, the undertaking has a kind of a nice ring to it. <laughs> but, uh... Peg, I don't believe in horoscopes. And yet you believe in a 19-year-old in Playboy pouring honey on her tush is really interested in saving the environment. Hey, I never said I believed her. Just that I supported her and loved her very much. <laughs> Let's just do your horoscope, Magoo. Now, when's your birthday? <laughs> it's two months after yours. The only difference is that I have mine every year. Look, Al, you're a cancer. <laughs> right back at you. Honey, you have an amazing horoscope. It says, now brace yourself, good luck's a coming. Oh, well, that's a different. <laughs> See, till now, Peg, I always thought horoscopes were a lot of hooey, but after hearing good luck's a coming, and I realize they're based on hard scientific data. Tell me something, Peg. Does it say anything in there about the wife is a leaving? <laughs> and the kids are a wither? <laughs> Daddy, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Pumpkin, that, that can't be. <laughs> the horror with the scope here says good lots are coming. The health inspector is closing down the diner for two days. Well, that's not so bad. Well, then they're tearing it down. <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm unemployed. And it's all because of those stupid raisin cookies. What, the, the raisin cookies you were getting me free every day? <laughs> yeah. You know, it turns out that only half the raisins were actually raisins. <laughs> what was the other half? Oh, believe me, Daddy, you do not want to know. Oh, well, I guess I'm out of a J-O-D. Oh, uh, well, now, I guess you won't have enough money to move O-U-L. Now, it seems that one of the guys from the extermination company that deloused me remembered me as the Verminator a couple years ago, and they want me to be their local mascot. Now, here's the part that's important to you, Daddy. You're going to tell me what the other half of those raisins were? I can't, Daddy. The guys from the Atomic Energy Commission said, Mom's the word on this one. Anyway... The good news is, is that I'll be making more money than I did at the diner, and I'll be able to move out sooner than I thought. Well, I better get busy. I'm under court order to burn this uniform. <laughs> Remember to take it off first, honey. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right. Now won't you admit that your horoscope is right? Good luck is a coming. Ah, oh, come on, Peg. Even if Kelly does leave, Bud will still be here. And having only one kid around the house is like having only one noose around your neck. 